a warm welcome this is electric energy generation utilization and conservation course with the lecture 2.6 focusing on energy efficient motors so you can see we have already learned it should reduce the losses and that by uh, reducing the cost of electricity consumption which will directly mean that the energy consumption has to be reduced so the energy efficient motor is a motor that gives the same output strength by consuming low power em is manufactured using the same frame as a standard motor but they have some differences the quality of the materials used will be very high but the quality of uh, uh, the laminations uh, steel laminations uh, in the state is good the cop more amount of copper can be used uh, optimized air gap between stator and rotor and the fan losses can be reduced with the proper maintenance uh, and then closer machining tolerances uh, and uh, um, the high quality of aluminium which is used in the rotor while comparing the standard motor efficiency normally the efficiency is nothing but the mechanical power output to the electrical power input ratio and uh, this when improved with the help of reduction in the losses uh, will lead to energy efficiency in future the cost of energy will increase due to environmental problems and limited resources the electric motors consume a major part of the electric energy in industries thus implementing uh, an energy efficient motor would have a significant amount of electricity reduction and also it will reduce the greenhouse gas effect uh, thereby pulling down the total environmental cost of electricity generation these motors can also reduce the maintenance cost and improve operation in the industry that by energy efficiency is a primary one where more efficient technology and process are concentrated on rather than the changes in the individual behavior why uh, is it needed why the energy efficiency is needed let us see an a comparison between the standard motor and the energy efficiency motor let us see the efficiency level for a rated uh, 10 hp motor 20 hp motor 30 hp 50 hp to 200 hp motor we can see at all stages the high energy efficiency motor is having an efficiency greater than that of the standard motor then obviously we can use high energy efficiency motor isn't it when there is a new installation or modification to your plant choose energy efficient motor when the old motor are damaged and if, when it re needs a rewinding simply you prefer energy efficiency motor if suppose the existing motors are underloaded or overloaded we can go for eem and for protecting other devices we can use the energy efficient ways of efficiency for being improvised here and thus an energy efficient motor is this and while considering the motor life cycle uh, if it is a uh, standard one the efficiency if it, it is uh, eff3 improved one means eff2 and energy efficient is eff1 is uh, being represented here based upon the classes uh, and uh, while uh, energy efficient motors are expensive to buy uh, they can be deployed for 24 by 7 working that is for the entire 24 hours of seven days in a week uh, we can apply it uh, um yeah, yeah and also uh, improved motors uh, improved efficiency motors can also be installed in certain cases uh, while considering the motor ratings uh, with this 30 hp the efficiency class 3 class 2 class 1 proves, proves to be the annual savings of uh, 45 around 46 thousand rupees uh, when compared to the energy efficiency class 3 and when compared to energy efficiency class 2 it is almost 15000 rupees a greater thus the eem is provided approved to be a better one this is uh, the calculation of payback, payback analysis let us consider a new application of 50 hp motor uh, let us consider 6000 hours of its annual use we have 75 percentage load there cost of electricity is so and so and demand charge efficiency of that motor energy efficient motor then premium efficiency motor what is the extra list cost of the premium uh, premium efficiency motor the price uh, and the actual extra cost what we have to do is we have to find out the demand savings first and next what is the energy saving 
and next what is the cost saving by calculating these we can find out the simple payback period it is nothing but the calculation between the actual extra cost which is incurred and the cost savings which is present if you are putting the ratio we can say this is the payback period this is the characteristics of the energy efficient motors and the standard motors we can see at all motor ratings energy efficient motor is having a better efficiency when compared to standard motors and this is the energy efficiency evaluation factor uh, for a cooling tower we can see fan efficiency cooling efficiency and water loss for heat exchanger it is surface heat flux intensity and temperature difference power and heat ratio for water pump it is pump efficiency water loss of pump and operating efficiency for pipe it is surplus coefficient of pipe coefficient of heat loss and for valve it is surplus coefficient of valve 